I'm Kelly Geckner from Wilson YMCA. I wanted to bring you guys a yoga practice that you can do at home since we can't see each other in person. Um, I think it's great to just set aside some time to focus on yourself, your health, your wellness, and also just um, meditating um, and being grateful, setting aside some gratitude um, for all that we have every day. So if you'll join me, grab a mat, um, a blanket or a bolster or a strap if you need, and um, welcome to our virtual yoga practice. So if you will just find a comfortable seat to start, your legs can be crossed, they can be extended, whatever makes you really comfortable. We're going to start with a little pranayama or some breath practice. So we first just want to find ourselves grounded in our seat. So you might just need to move some flesh away from those sit bones so that you feel really grounded. If you feel strain through your hips with opening, um, prop yourself open um, by sitting on a blanket or a block and get your hips kind of at least level, if not above those knees so that you feel really comfortable um, through your sit bones. Secondly, you just wanna lengthen through the spine, kind of zip up and engage through your core. Your hands can be wherever is comfortable. So generally we say if your hands are down on your knees, you're ready to feel grounded. But if you're ready to receive from this practice, turn those palms up. Get your shoulders back and down. Relax through the spine. And then crown of the head goes straight to the sky. So oftentimes when we are trying to feel length or lifting, we'll lift up our chin, but we really want it to stay parallel to the ground. So just take that chin and uh, check its position. And close your eyes and take a deep inhale in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Again, one more big breath through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Now through our practice, we're going to be breathing in and out through our nose if it's possible and comfortable for you. So if you know Ujjayi, just go ahead and start your constriction in the back of the throat. Otherwise, just draw your attention to your inhale and see if you can lengthen it as long as our exhale. So we'll really draw on a practice here and just focus on that breath. And I'm just gonna count it out for you. So we're gonna inhale for four, pause at the top, and exhale for four. So inhale, two, three, four, pause, exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, pause, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale. we're going to begin to move. So we'll start with angel's breath. So on your inhale, reach those arms all the way up to the sky, and on your exhale, flip your palms and press the sky away, all the way to the ground. Again, inhale, and exhale, press away. Inhale your arms up. This time on your exhale, let's twist to the left. Exhale. Using your knee for anchorage, you can twist more, but I would really like you to focus on inhale for length, exhale the twist. Inhale for length, exhale the twist. Just a gentle twist at the beginning of our practice. Inhale those arms back up to the sky. And exhale, hands to the heart. 
Again, inhale those arms up to the sky. And exhale, let's twist to the right. Inhale for length. Exhale the twist. Inhale for length. Exhale the twist. Inhale those arms back to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, open your arms wide to receive. Exhale, draw those hands down to the earth, chin to the chest. Inhale those arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's take your left hand and stretch it out. And then take your right ear down to your right shoulder and feel a nice stretch through that length and length through the left side neck. If this is uncomfortable, ear to your shoulder. You can also touch your chin down toward your shoulder and then you should feel a little ease. If this is not enough, you can use your other arm, your other hand, and just put gentle pressure on your head. Don't pull too much. Arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. Go ahead and stretch out that right arm long. Left ear to left shoulder. Chin down if it's uncomfortable. And if it's not enough, you can use your other hand to apply just gentle pressure to the head to stretch through the neck. release all that. Inhale your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. Come back to your breath. If you like to set an intention for your practice, a word, a phrase, a mantra, now is a great time to do that. All right, let's shake it out a little bit and find our way to hands and knees or to tabletop. So you really want to front yourself rounded. So spread those fingers wide, and we're going to start just by rolling through the spine with some cat and cows. So we will take um, our tops of our feet to the floor, we're going to tuck our pelvis under, and we're going to push up, articulating through our spine, and then tuck our chin to our chest for cat, that's your exhale. On your inhale, tuck your toes, change your pelvis, tilt it to the sky. Don't really sink into your shoulders, but just drop your belly toward the spine and then shine your heart forward as you lift your gaze. Exhale into cat, flip those feet, tuck the pelvis, roll through the spine, chin to chest, pressing through the hands. Inhale for cow, tucking your toes, pelvis under. Sink the belly, not the chest, shine the chest forward. Inhale for cow. Exhale. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. Feel free to move around a little bit or keep going with your cat and cows. We're just going to roll into our spinal balance soon. So find yourself back into your neutral spine. Zip up through the core. And you're going to take your right hand and stretch it out as if you're giving someone a handshake. So you're balancing on your left hand and both of your legs. If you feel comfortable here, extend that left leg back, push through the heel, toes are down, and raising that leg only to hip height. Spinal balance, keep breathing here. On your next exhale, find your hand and your knee back to the earth and cat-cow for two breaths. Back to neutral spine, zip up through the core, spread the fingers wide, push the floor away. Left hand for a shake, right foot, press it back, 
push the wall behind you away. Toes to the ground. Hip height with your leg, keeping those um, hips nice and parallel to the mat. And breathe here. Exhale, or place your hand and knee to the mat. And exhale and inhale into cat and cow. Reach your hands, another couple handprints forward, and we're going to sink our chest to the mat while still keeping our hips to the sky. We're going to slide through on our mat, so if you can, keep your nose to the mat, and then come forward and slide through all the way so that your chest and belly is on the floor. We're going to rise up into baby cobra and then take another paw print forward so that our elbows are directly below our shoulders and we're going to come into sphinx. So make sure you um, relax your glutes. You can open your ankles to the side. Your gaze should be just 10 or 12 inches in front of you. But you are still pushing the elbows and the chest forward, shining that heart forward, and just relax your breath here. Exhale, release. Let's take our hands wide, and on your inhale, let's rise up gently to Cobra. Exhale, drop your right shoulder down, look over your left. Inhale to center, exhale left shoulder down, gaze to the right, inhale to center, exhale right shoulder down, gaze to the left, inhale to center, exhale left shoulder down, gaze to the right, inhale up and hold, exhale let it go. Tuck your toes, seek through your heels, Find child's pose. Let's walk our arms over to the left for a right side body stretch. Back to center. And reach the arms over to the right for that left side body stretch. And back to center. Child's pose. Sweep your hands to your feet, round the shoulders over your body. If this is uncomfortable for your knees, find yourself a blanket and put it under your knees so you're not crunching down on them. Or feel free to widen your child's pose so that you can sink lower. Come back up to tabletop on your next inhale. We're going to tuck our toes, push our seat back to our heels, and find our first downward dog. So here in downward dog, let's just walk it out a bit. Stretch those hamstrings and calves. Roll up on your toes and sink your heels to, your, to the floor. Make sure your fingers are spread wide on your mat and drop your shoulders away from your ears. It's really not important how far your heels are to touching the mat. It's more about length in your spine. And tilt your pelvis up to the sky. Inhale, look at those hands, and step up as many steps as you need to come to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Grab your opposite elbows into ragdoll and sway as you feel comfortable.
Bend your knees and on your inhale, let's reverse swan dive up to the top. And exhale, hands to the heart. Come back to your breath. On your inhale, arms to the sky. Gentle back bend behind the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Look over your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, plant your hands, step back to your plank. For our first flow, we'll go easy together. So drop your knees to the ground, tricep push up, but hug your um, elbows next to the sides so that your chest drops first. And then slide forward with your chin to the mat, baby cobra, on your inhale. Exhale, release, tuck the toes, seat to the heels, child's pose. On your inhale, push up into your downward dog. Spread those fingers wide, push back so that your pelvis is rising to the sky. Doesn't matter where your heels are to your mat. On your inhale, or as you feel ready, we're gonna go right leg to the sky, just like we practice with spinal balance. Push that wall behind you away, toes to the ground, keep everything square. Exhale, step through, plant that foot right next to your right hand, drop the back foot 45 degrees, inhale, get your chest off your front thigh, and as you feel steady, inhale and rise to your warrior one. So in warrior one, we want our hips square to the front of the mat, your arms can be open into goddess, or raised to the sky with your gaze forward or up. Have that knee over your ankle or slightly behind, but not in front. We're going to open up into arrow. So on your exhale, drop your hands behind you, the same angle as your leg, and inhale, swoop them forward with a flat back into arrow. Exhale, drop back. Inhale, slide forward. Exhale, drop back. Inhale, slide forward and hold. Good. Plant your hands, spring your foot, pivot that back foot and step back into your plank. Take the flow that you feel comfortable with. So inhale forward, exhale chaturanga, inhale upward dog, Exhale, downward dog. Spread the fingers wide. Make sure you feel grounded. Lengthen through the spine. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, the left leg to the sky. Push that wall away from you. Toes to the ground. Exhale, step forward. Plant the hand. Near your foot, drop the back foot 45. Inhale, get your chest off your thighs. As you feel grounded, rise up to warrior one on your inhale. Check that your knees over your ankle, that your hips are square to the wall or to the top of the mat. And put your arms where you feel comfortable. Prayer, goddess, raise with your gaze forward or up. We're going to transition to arrow. So exhale, drop your arms back. Inhale, come forward with your um, flat back for your inhale. Exhale, drop back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, drop back. And inhale, hold into arrow. your foot, pivot the back foot and step back into your plank. Take the flow that's most comfortable for you. You can always drop your knees, chest, and slide for cobra. Exhale back into your downward dog. Inhale, look at your hands, step, walk, or hop to the front of the mat. 
Inhale to arrive. Exhale to fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, reverse line back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's come back to our breath. Feel your heart beating a little faster now. But your breath calm and steady. Spread your toes wide. Feel grounded as you inhale those arms to the sky. Exhale, full from your hips. Inhale, flat back over your looking over your mat. Exhale, fold. Plant those hands as you bend your knees. Step, walk, or hop back to plank and flow with your breath. Meet you back in downward dog. Inhale the right leg to the sky. This time we're going to open the hip and stack it. And if you feel comfortable, you can take that right heel to the right glute, but don't turn your shoulders to the side. Keep your shoulders nice and square as you open your hips. Exhale back to square. Inhale and exhale forward. Plant that foot in the center of your mat. Pivot that back foot 45 degrees and windmill up into your warrior two. So here that back, I'm sorry, the front ankle is tracking over your back arch of your foot. The knee is still tracking over the top of your ankle and then push that right knee out so that you can see your second and third toes. Stretch those arms wide, drop your shoulders down so they're nice and soft and sink into those hips. On your inhale, flip your front palm. On your exhale, reach back for reverse warrior. Inhale forward, warrior two. Inhale, flip the palm, reverse that warrior. Exhale back to warrior two. Breathe. Windmill those hands so that you're framing your front foot. Step back to plank and flow through your vinyasa. Meet you back in downward dog. Take your time. Follow your breath. Drop your shoulders away from your ear. Sink your heels to the floor. Seat to the sky. Inhale your left leg up to hip height. Point the toes and open as you stack your hips against one another. If you feel comfortable, you can drop your left heel to the left glute or to the right glute. But make sure you're not twisting up only your shoulders. Stay square with your shoulders. Inhale, back to square. Exhale, step forward in the middle of your mat. Drop off your left foot and plant your right foot at that 45 degrees. Inhale, get your chest off your thigh. Open up into your warrior two. Have that knee track over that second and third toe. Don't be too far with your knee in front of your ankle. Relax those shoulders. Inhale, flip your palm of your left hand forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Warrior two. Inhale, flip the palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Warrior two. Spring the foot, step back to your plank, take your flow. Meet you back in downward dog.
Inhale, look at your hands. Snap, walk, or hop forward. Inhale as you arrive. Exhale to fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, reverse squat dive. Exhale, hands to the heart, chin to the chest. Find your breath. Spread your toes wide, feel grounded. Inhale as arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, bend the knees. Step, walk or hop back to plank. Take your vinyasa, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale that right leg to the sky, point the toes, open the hips, square the shoulders. You can drop that heel back to the glute, if that feels comfortable with you. If you'd like to go into a wild thing, you just keep taking that right foot behind you until it meets the floor. And then open up into your wild thing. Come back to three-legged dog. Exhale, step forward, layer two. Open up, check your alignment. Inhale, flip the palm of your front hand. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen the front leg. And we're gonna move to Trikonasana, our triangle pose. So you wanna reach forward as far as you can and keeping a flat back, just windmill your arms where they may. Now take that um, chest and open it to the sky and try not to sink into that front arm. So you can be here letting go of your leg for a quick check, engage that core. You can reach to the foot, you can reach to the floor, but the goal is to stay open with your chest to the sky. Exhale into warrior two. Inhale, flip the palm and reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill and frame your feet. Frame your front foot, pivot the back foot, step back into plank. Take your vinyasa flow. Meet you back in downward dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Point the toes, stack the hips with the shoulders square. You can drop that leg back if you wish. You can keep going into your wild thing. Come back to three-legged dog. And exhale, step forward into your warrior two. Check your alignment. Inhale, flip the palm. Exhale, reverse that warrior. Warrior two. Inhale, lengthen that front leg. We're going to reach forward with a flat back. Hips are going back. Chest is coming forward. And you're going to open your chest to the side wall with your right arm reaching to the sky. Again, you can reach lower, but the goal is not to see how low you can go. Rather, how open can your chest be? Keep a soft, gentle bend in that front leg as it's lengthened, and find your triangle. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip the palm. Exhale, reverse 
comes to warrior. Warrior two. Frame your foot. Pivot the back. Step back. Take your flow if you want or meet in child's pose. Your arms can be stretched long. You can sweep them around to your feet or you can bend at the elbows, hands in prayer open to your head. Come back to your breath here. Stretch your arms long, come back into table, press up into your downward dog. Step walk or hop to the top of the mat, inhale as you arrive, exhale fold, bend your knees, reverse swan dive. Slide back from behind the heart, exhale, hands to the heart. Go ahead and shake it out a little bit. We are going to come into um, a standing balance and then we're going to stretch it out with a twist and go into a small arm balance as well. So we are going to start with just tree pose. Um, there's a lot of variations. So you want to ground down. Um, let's start with the right foot. Ground down to that right foot and just find um, length as you zip up through the core before lifting that left leg up. You can keep your toes on the ground and just find balance here. You can move it onto your calf, and what you want to do is like we practice and learn to open that leg to the side so that you feel it a stretch here in your hips while keeping your shoulders square. Your hands can be at prayer. You can grow your branches wherever you may please, or if you want, you can take that leg all the way to your top of your thigh, but please avoid the knee. Protect your knee. Engage your quad, firm through your foot, opening your hip, and keep your shoulders square. And then grow your branches as if you want to. You can sway. And once you think you have it, and you're not challenged anymore, close your eyes. And come out of it whenever you feel comfortable. Good. Let's shake that side out. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So ground down through that right foot. Spread the toes wide. Feel nice and grounded. And find your tree. You can stay on the ground. Move up to your calf. Or move all the way up to your inner thigh. Engage that quad, activate that quad, and open up the hip. Find your arms where you feel comfortable, grow your branches, sway, or if you want to challenge, no matter where your leg is, just close your eyes. Go. Let's shake that out. Awesome. We're also going to do a similar pose. It's just figure four um, standing. So let's ground down again through that right foot. I'm sorry if I said it wrong before I'm trying to mirror. And this time instead of just leaving our opposite foot on the side, we're actually going to cross it over. So take that angle and cross it over your knee, but still open your hip up wide so that you're in a figure four shape. Again, put your arms where they feel comfortable. And if you're comfortable here and you're not feeling a whole lot, go ahead and try to gently bend that standing leg and come into a squat. Any or all is fine. 
keep lengthen your back though, don't collapse over. That's not really gonna help your leg here. We're just getting that nice quad stretch. Find a focal point, a drishti, a gaze, so that you can stay focused. Flex that foot is really helpful. And then press through that standing leg and shake it out. Good. Same thing on the other side, so I think it's your left leg. <laughs> Ground down through that foot. Cross that ankle over the knee. Open that hip up. And any amount you want to squat down, feel comfortable doing that so you can engage your quad here. I mean, to your hip, sorry. Lengthen through that spine, find your gaze. Good, and shake all that out. All right, we're gonna come into a malasana squat. So your feet need to be at least hips wide and your toes pointed out um, towards the mat. And we're just gonna sink our hips down. So some people can come about here, some people like me that are giants, we need to widen our stance a little bit, but the idea is to come low. If it doesn't feel comfortable, again, you can put a block underneath you. And what you wanna do is just open up those hips. So we use your elbows to engage into your thighs and keep your spine long. All right, let's put our right arm on the ground and stretch up to the left arm to the sky. Open that chest just like in triangle. Exhale, now round and collapse your back forward. Inhale back into your malasana squat. Reach with that left arm as far as you can and open to the right. Get that heart shining to the side here. And it's totally fine if you're here too. It's the same stretch. And then exhale, fold and round. Inhale, malasana squat one more time. I'll come up just for a variation. And exhale. Find your seat to the floor. Bring your legs in front and round your back. Good. Let's stretch our legs long for staff pose. Move the flesh away from your sit bones if you need to. Inhale. And exhale to fold. Flat back. Keep a micro bend in those knees. It's no need to touch your toes if you can't. You can come here. Just keep that length in the back. Exhale, come back up to center. Let's bring that right leg in like our tree pose on our inner thigh. Same thing, we're gonna fold forward. So inhale to rise, exhale to fold. Keep length in your spine. Inhale to rise. Exhale, we're going to do a twist here. So we want to inhale our arms to the sky and we're going to twist opposite of the foot that's brought in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, shake it out. Staff again. Inhale. Exhale. Length through the back, reach, reach, reach. Use your strap here if you want for some extra pull. And exhale, come back up. Bring your opposite foot in like your tree pose to your inner thigh. Move the flesh away. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale up, arms to the sky, twist opposite the leg that's in. Good. Exhale, release, shake it out. We're going to do a fun arm balance called Baby Cobra. 
I know I've taught this before, so if you already know how, go ahead and practice. There is, um, I said baby cobra, I'm sorry, baby grasshopper. There is full grasshopper if you know that. I'm not teaching that today. So with our legs outstretched, we're going to take that right knee in. I guess it's your left knee. <laughs> take your left knee in and cross it over the right. And now we want to twist in the same direction as our leg. So we want to, to twist to the same side that you crossed. So inhale your arms up and follow your leg so that your arm and your leg are on the same side here. Go. Now we want to lean forward any amount we can and reach for that foot. So you're on the same side. And if you want to, you can roll up on your arm that's supporting and on your leg and come into a baby arm balance here, baby cobra. Good, exhale. Come back down. You can also do the opposite side, but it is a little more challenging to reach for that leg. Awesome, great. Stretch that out, wiggle it out. Same thing, opposite side. So I think this is your right. So drag up your right leg and cross it over your left. And we're gonna twist to the same side. So inhale to rise, exhale to twist. If your arm and leg are on the same side, that's good. <laughs> Lean forward any amount, bring your other hand out for support and reach for that foot. You can also bend your knee here, that's not really important. If you feel comfortable, get your bottom off the ground, push up into your arm and leg, into your baby cobra. Not baby cobra, baby grasshopper. And come down as you feel comfortable. Or try again. Or you can twist the opposite. It is more difficult to reach for that leg before you push up into your arm balance here. Good. Just something fun to practice. If you have questions, email me, message me, let me know. We're going to make our way to our backs. So come to the top of your mat so you have plenty to come back on. Inhale and articulate that spine as you find the back. Reach those arms over the head. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Big inhale and exhale, let it all go. Good. Take that right knee into the chest. And we're gonna do half happy baby. So if you'll grab it with your, the outside of your right foot with your right hand, and you want to pull kind of down towards your armpit with your knee. Half happy baby. Or Arnold. If you feel yourself kind of rolling to the right, make sure you stay grounded on the left. Squeeze that knee into the chest again, and then cross it over your body for a gentle twist. Stretch that right arm long and try to keep your right shoulder down on the ground. So don't twist as if your shoulder is coming up. Just back off a little bit. Gaze to the right. chest again and let's cross it over for figure four on our backs like we did earlier so your left leg needs to come up and you cross that right ankle over your left knee and open up into your figure four if you feel comfortable or just need further stretch you can lift that left leg and bring your hip in closer be very careful of your knee here so flex that foot Shake all that out. Same thing on the other side. Left knee into your chest. Squeeze it in tight. Roll your ankle if you want. And half happy baby. Left hand to the outside of your left foot and bring that left knee into your left armpit. Bring it down towards that chest. 
without rolling to the left side. If you feel yourself rolling, come back to the right and ground that right side down. Squeeze that knee in tight towards your chest. And then cross it over your body for a gentle side twist. So knee goes to the right, stretch out your left arm, keep that left shoulder grounded, and gentle twist, gaze to the left as your knee goes right. that knee into the chest. Give it a good squeeze again. Have your right leg come up so that your foot's on the floor and cross that left ankle over the right knee for a figure four. Open that hip. If you don't feel enough, then bring that right leg in. It's just as if you're squatting. You can feel more stretch here. Flex the left foot and only go until it's comfortable. Don't push yourself into pain. Stretch that out a little bit, wiggle around. We're going to go legs up the wall. So if you don't have a wall handy, you can just bring your feet above your hips. But sometimes it can get really heavy. So if you do have a wall, just use the wall for support. Put your bottom against the wall and let your legs go up the wall for a little waterfall. Flexing your feet or pointing your toes doesn't matter, but we're just reversing the flow for our baby inversion here. Close your eyes and just breathe. If you'd rather do a shoulder stand, fish, wheel, anything you want to reverse the flow for an inversion, that's fine. We're going to stay here a couple minutes though. You might start noticing some tingling or some gentle shaking in your legs. Feel free to come out of it or come back in as you wish. knees into your chest, off of the wall, and gently rock side to side. And you can kind of feel that blood rushing back in. Open into your happy baby as you feel comfortable. Keep that sacrum towards the floor. Don't just roll up your back. Alright, plant those feet on the mat. So that they're right near your hips, your fingertips should be able to brush the ankles. We're just going to roll up into a baby bridge here. So on your inhale, with your feet about hip width apart, push up into your baby bridge so that you're um, supported by your feet and your shoulders. But make sure your neck isn't tuckered 
tilted. You should be able to fit an orange between your neck and your chest. And push up, 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 up. Good. On your exhale, articulate that spine. Roll down slowly, slowly, slowly. One vertebra at a time. And one more time. We're going to come up and hold. So on your inhale, press up forward. Push that pelvis up to the sky. If you want to clasp your hands under your back and roll all the way up on your shoulder, feel free. But push up through this through your legs, engage your quads, but don't crank your neck here. Good. Exhale. Roll slowly, slowly, slowly down the spine. One vertebra at a time. Stretch out your arms and legs long. Ball up your fist. Scrunch your face. Flex your muscles. And then let go. We're coming into our Shavasana. So find your comfortable corpse pose. Some people like to extend their legs and feet. Others want to come in Supta Baddha Konasana or Rested Butterfly. You can have a hand on your heart, hand on your belly. Or just open your arms to the sky, whatever you feel comfortable. Come back to that intention that you set for your practice. Take a deep inhale in and exhale through your mouth. One more time. Deep inhale in and exhale out through your mouth. drift in, but let them go. Don't focus on anything. Feel your body. Be thankful for your body. For the strength to support you. For its flexibility to work with you. and give gratitude for your nurturing it today. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Breathe back life into your body. And as you feel comfortable, find yourself rolling to one side. As you feel comfortable, push up into your seated position. So we'll end as we begin. Any comfortable seated position. Arms up to receive, or palms up on your knees to receive. Take a deep breath with me. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bow forward. May all beings be happy and free. And may the happiness in my life contribute to the happiness and the freedom for all. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me today. If you have any questions, like I said, email me or shoot me a message. I wish everyone health and happiness. See you all soon.